This isn't my prop shop in Chillicothe. Oh my god. We're back in the studio. That's cool. Looks like I better make something. Let's do this. Thank you so much for clicking on this video brought to you by Backyard Zombie. And yes, we are back in the studio, home. We have done our summer, we have done our fall in Chillicothe, Ohio. And I am back in my studio for just a short little while because yeah, life happens. But in today's video, I have been commissioned to make a very special prop. I am making a Fiji mermaid for a display piece. So let's get to building. Excuse me, Joshua, what exactly is a Fiji mermaid? Because I don't like tuna and I don't like sushi. Well, a Fiji mermaid is actually like one of those like uh, freak show art pieces. It's a, it's a hoax. It is a... Um, mature baby monkey on the uh, body of a fish and it was used like in uh pt barnum was very famous for using them and basically they're just like fake weird macabre displays of like taxidermy and craftiness that is a ridiculous and stupid answer that i feel like you googled but let's get to building shall we mm -hmm. Voice over time, where I got the bones and teeth box. And basically I just started finding pieces that worked and I glued them together. Look, it's a mermaid, I guess. <laughs> uh, built this stand because I just wanted to recycle everything for this build. And I figured it would look really cool just on this really cool recycled stand. So broke out these really cool plastic pliers. And for these feet bones, they look like the fins. So I'm gonna cut these pieces off and be able to glue them together. And I did use those big pieces later. You'll see them. And there's the tail. Look at that. Human teeth on a plastic skeleton is hilarious and haunting. It's just, ugh. Oh, and those are the ankles from that feet earlier. And then I began the process of putting everything together and using black hot glue to really add texture. That's what's really gonna sell this prop is texture. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different layers of different products, but right now I'm adding this like vein-esque musculature with black hot glue. And I think this is really gonna sell once we do the next step of texturing this prop. Isn't that the most horrifying thing you've ever seen? And for our next step, we're gonna use the shop towel and Mod Podge technique that I learned from my boy, Ease Crafty. Uh, I ripped some pieces up to make it so much easier to reach, paint. Also, I glued these eyeballs in, totally forgot about that. Um, so basically you take the Mod Podge, lay it down, lay the shop towel pieces down, and then you start building up layers and look at all that texture. It looks like skin and when it dries, it's so disgusting and it looks so freaking cool. Yep. So I'm gonna start with this basic acrylic paint and I'm gonna start building up the first layer of the skin. And this is really gonna help make everything uniform, but also make sure you get all those cracks and crevices of the Mod Podge slash shop towel, because if you miss stuff, people will see it. And just like the real Fiji mermaids, you want this thing to look like an actual mummified corpse. So switch brushes to get into all those cracks and crevices, and that's really gonna help build this first important coat of paint so you can build off from that, and that is horrifying, absolutely horrifying. Then I went in and I painted his eyes. Well, just to give it the base coat. And then I went on with this stuff and I did a dry brush to kind of give it more texture with the skin, added more depth to the eyes. And then I started doing stuff with the base. So I covered it in Mod Podge and then put a bunch of seaweed grass on it. And then I repainted the teeth, did some more dry brushing, same colors. And then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to cut the hair, use contact cement, and basically give this little guy a haircut. Wow, he's even more creepy, especially with that black wash I did on his face. Oh God. Then using Typorama, I created this little uh, fake, I don't know, like plaque. It took some Mod Podge, took this metal plaque I got at the dollar store, and I Mod Podge it all together. And also I used some brown stain paint 
to paint up that plate. Then I took some twine to wrap up this duct tape, which will protect the model later. And there you have it, folks. That is how I built this Fiji mermaid prop display. Uh, I love how this thing turned out. It's made of all 100% recycled materials. Everything I had, I had either hoarded or just had lying around the shop. And I think it came out just great. It's a great little display piece. And it's a great little conversation piece. I did end up tying the model with more twine to its stand so it wouldn't go anywhere. And I really like how the plaque turned out. I really just like how overall this looks. I think it's a really fun little prop and it's showing you that you can take something and turning into something else. So recycling is good. So yeah, if you like this video, please like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm gonna put this little guy down. See ya.